An origin footballer, an Olympian and a radio DJ have spent the night sleeping on the streets of Brisbane. They're trying to raise enough tinned food to feed 10,000 people. 96.5 Toucan Street Sleep and what you see is what you get. What I'm wearing right now is uh, all I've got for the whole week. Won't be getting any more clothes, uh, won't be able to change anything but what I've got on. And a uh, quick pan around here is where I'm sleeping for the week. This is home. So we're out and amongst the elements. Uh, if we look at the sky for a minute, it's looking a little grey this morning, a little greyer than we'd like it to be. Which uh, means it may rain, and uh, what we've got on is what we've got to protect ourselves. So day one of the street sleep, we'll see how we go. Not a terrible night's sleep. Um, I can put up with the fact that the traffic was loud, that was alright. I can put up the fact that it was a little bit cool, that I could snuggle and curl up. It was the rain that got me. It started coming down about one o'clock. I was right in the middle of it. <laughs> And um, we got wet, yep, very wet. But um, that wasn't good. The rain, the rain did me in. I can do the cold, I can do the noise, but just not being dry. Um, just woke up. I probably had a better night's sleep than the night before because I was so tired, I just passed out. But it was the most uncomfortable night's sleep just on the concrete and my knees were on the concrete and it was a bit, it was colder than it has been. It was a cold night, an uncomfortable night. I can feel my throat's a bit sore and I probably look haggard. Do I look haggard? I look haggard. Okay that's nice. So it was just a pretty rough night. Um, not as many trucks went by, not as many dogs are barking, but just cold and uncomfortable. I just want to get up and go for a walk around and stretch my legs and I've got an hour to kill before we go on the radio. Or I could just go back to sleep for a bit. Just give me five more minutes. soup kitchen that does a really nice meal. We just had roast lamb with some gravy and some mud cake for dessert and just shared it with about 50 other guys. Uh, they ran out of food halfway through the meal. Just felt really guilty because we'd already eaten ours and some went without and we didn't need to eat. Um, but just what an awesome organisation that put on a free meal every night and you can see the guys over my shoulder enjoying themselves right now. Killing some time, hanging out in the valley, what else to do. Everyone's out on a Wednesday night. Second round, we'll find out who won the alcohol. Thanks for playing trivia. It's a good day. Had some good food. Um, got a good, good nap under a tree in a park. And um, now I'm about to go to sleep outside the men's toilets. Uh, back up early nice tomorrow for the show. Let's hope we can string a couple of words together. Okay. Oh. Sore back, sore ear, bad hair, haggard, I want my own bed, tired, busting to go to the toilet, I want a bit of security, I want a bit of warmth. That tire that nothing really wakes me up. You get woken up a couple of times throughout the night with the noises and a bit of cold and it, it's just damp. You wake up and it's damp. It's not terrible, but it's just not nice. And it's cold. It's cold. I'm going to try and just put my thoughts together and then do the show today. But before I do the show, I'll put my shoes on. And before I do that, I've got to find a toilet. But one thing I've noticed is that interaction with people that have nothing changes their day. A handshake, a conversation, just ask people a question and you see their face light up and you change their mood and um, gives them a lift. I'm just sort of wondering what to do with that. Um, whether now is a good time to just go start talking to people, just saying hello, being friendly, um, asking questions and just seeing how people are. I, I feel really connected with homeless people at the moment. I've only been out for a few days but I've met the same people at same spots around and You'd almost say you've made a few good acquaintances, a few good friends, and you worry about them and you wonder how they're going. 
So we're just going to go for a wander today and see who we can meet. Say hello. I mean, I'm just as desperate for conversation as other people. So I might as well be the one that starts it. Uh, we're packing up right now. We've, uh, we've been at it and uh, I can honestly say I feel absolutely haggard, uh, shattered, emotionally drained, uh, mixed emotions and thoughts. And I guess as I'm driving home, we'll be thinking about the, the guys that I've met during the week and um, worry about them. I'm not quite sure what to do about that, whether to come back down and see them. I almost feel like I want to come back down to the soup kitchen tonight and have another meal and say hello. Just the importance of the people to care, you know, just the importance of people to say hello to someone. If you're catching a train with the same people every day, every week of the year, say hello to one of them. Let them know your name. Just a quick hello, let someone know that you are there and you connect with them. It's really important. Amazing experience. I don't know if I'd like to do it again because I'm really tired, sore, dirty, I want to have a shower shave, get some, some decent food, that's great, but there are people that won't be able to do that in a couple of hours time like I can. I guess I want to take away from this the, the importance of connection. Thinking about other people and realising that you that have enough really need to help those that have nothing in whatever small way you can. It's been great to be in your, your computers and your lounge rooms, wherever you're watching these podcasts. hope you've enjoyed sleeping on the street, we enjoyed bringing it to you. And um, don't let it stop there, move on do something, start something, um, and if you've been impacted, follow it through. Take care.